Hello everyone, this is Michael from Blue Sky Bio. In today's training tutorial, I will be explaining the functionality to save the models for liner manufacturing to your computer. I'll also be reviewing connected functionality regarding the ability to add a base for vertical aligner printing, as well as other functionalities, such as being able to emboss text onto the models, number the models, and other related functionality. In previous tutorials, I've already discussed the automatic data preparation steps to prepare all the data for the teeth setup completely automatically. I've also described and presented our new functionality to do the automatic tooth setup. We've also discussed the advantages of adding a CT scan and importing a CT scan when aligner planning. And I've also discussed and presented our new monthly plan for unlimited aligner exports from the software for as many cases as you're doing at a low monthly fee. So if you wanna see information regarding anything that I just mentioned, please check previous tutorials or contact us with questions. Blue Sky Plan has the ability to export the models in addition to designed aligners that have been designed in the software and that you're exporting the aligners directly. And Blue Sky Plan has FDA approval for direct aligner export. And Blue Sky Plan also has the ability to design the aligner trim curve and export the trim curve to the milling machine in addition to the models as well if you're going to be using the milling machine for automatic model trimming. In this tutorial, we're going to present the default flow of exporting the models only for aligner manufacturing. So after the liner teeth setup is completely done and the teeth movement has been confirmed and you've added any buttons or attachments that are relevant, make sure you have the export models only option selected and click continue to export. So the software now asks, would you like to order the liners for this case? The digital plan will be saved and attached to the order form. So if you are going to be manufacturing the liners in-house, then just click no. If you're not going to be manufacturing the liners in-house, you don't have the equipment yet, you're not set up, then you could click yes. And what will happen now is first the software will prompt you to save the case because you're going to be attaching the case that you just prepared and planned to the order form. The attachment's going to happen automatically. So the software is prompting you to first save the case. And then the software opens up an order form. Again, the data will be attached completely automatically. And you can simply complete the order form to place the order for the liners to be manufactured. So this is a very quick and streamlined option for users that want to do their own planning, but want help with the manufacturing, just complete the order form and order the liners they will be manufactured and sent to you. I'm going to click close. Yes, that's okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the different capabilities that we have. Let's take a look at the panel on the right-hand side of the screen. So we have check boxes here for visibility options. And then we have the section platform for printing. Now, if you're going to be printing the models vertically and you want to add a platform for vertical printing, then this is the relevant section. That's what we're talking about right now. So we could see for our active upper arch that the software drops in a platform. You could click unlock. And now, when you left click on the platform, there's a widget that allows the platform placement angle and dimensions to be modified. You could rotate and move the platform as relevant, use the nodes to change the platform size. It should cover the base, but should not protrude. And of course it should be connected and overlapping with the model. You could also change the angle of the base using the values that we have here in the panel. And you could use the separation slider to further reduce the amount of print time and material needed by separating the platform into just heels that cover the edges of the base. Once you've completed the process for one arch, click on the other arch to activate it, unlock the base, make the necessary modifications. And of course, this only needs to be done once for each arch. 
and the base will be applied to all the relevant models. The next section that we have here is our labeling tool. So you're able to add a label to the models. Click show label, move the jaws and zoom in and zoom out. And I move the jaws by holding down the wheel of my mouse and moving the jaws around and zoom in and zoom out is by sliding the mouse backwards and forwards while holding down the right mouse button in order to position the text accordingly. Now you don't wanna put the text very close to the edges because it might affect the actual printing. So you wanna make sure there's a bit of space to any relevant edge. You have the option here either to emboss or engrave the text. You could change the text here. If you don't want any text and you just want the model number, then just delete the text. And if you want the text and the number to appear in the same row, we have that option as well. You can go to Tools, Preferences, Orthodontics over here and just scroll down to the bottom. And we have label text and numbering. Right now it's separately, which means it's on two different lines, or you could put it on one line, and then it will be on one line as well. While we're here, I'll just point out we have other options. By default, the checkbox generate steps as hollow models, which means the models will be printed as hollow models, so to save printing time and material. You do have an option to generate cross patterns. So if you don't want it to be open from the bottom, it could be closed with a cross pattern if you check the checkbox here. We also have the option for hollow model thickness, which is the minimum thickness for the hollow models, the minimum thickness of the material when it's being printed. So if you want to modify, you could change that here as well. Okay, I'm going to close this out. So once you have the text sized and positioned, you could apply it on the model or on the liner if you've designed the liners and you're exporting the liner. So once you have everything set up and positioned, simply click apply. Here it says the hollow model checkbox is marked, which is what we discussed previously. And it's just pointing out not to emboss or engrave too close to the edge. And click apply, okay. And now it goes model by model and it applies the relevant text and numbering to the relevant model. Okay, we could see the result here. And if I go through the different stages, we could see the numbering changing accordingly. We could repeat the process for the opposing arch as well. We could add the text and the numbering position and click apply. Continuing in the panel, we have the option to export the video. We had this at an earlier step as well. After the teeth movement steps, you're able to export the video as well. We have the functionality at the export stage in case you want to export the video at this point as well. So if you click export video, you have different options on the screen. Whether you want to include in the video, either the view on the screen currently, or to show both draws separately or both draws in a byte. So select the relevant option you have additional checkboxes to show the CT teeth as well in the video if you've imported the CT teeth. We have the option to show or not show IPRs and diastemas. You have some video options and you could add custom text to the video with some size and font options as well. So you could go ahead and export the video. It's a great way to share the case if you like to and then click OK or I'm going to click cancel for right now. So now we have the actual export options. So it shows us how many export credits we have remaining. Of course, if we're subscribed to unlimited monthly aligner exports, the number here won't be here and it's not relevant. And you could export as many cases as you like, the low monthly fee. And to do the actual export, make sure you have the export models checkbox checked. Activate remote monitoring for this patient. Blue Sky Bio, we've developed our own remote monitoring platform, which if you check the checkbox, it will automatically transfer the relevant planning data to the remote monitoring platform. And we're gonna have a separate video that demonstrates the functionality and the capabilities of the remote monitoring platform, but that's what this checkbox does at a very low patient fee one-time fee per patient, there's no monthly fees, you could activate the remote monitoring 
for the patient and the first five patients are completely free so you can get used to the platform and get used to your first cases. If you want to export the models for both JAWS at the same time, then click export both JAWS. And if you want to create the treatment report, then checkbox the check for create report. Once you have the relevant checkbox is checked, and again, we highly recommend the use of the remote monitoring platform, which I'll explain in a separate video, go ahead and click the export button. A notification appears on the screen just confirming that we've added the base for vertical printing and we've added the numbering and text to the models. I'm going to click yes, proceed to export. And the software now prompts us for a location where we would like to export the models to. So I'm going to click desktop. I'll use the option here for a new folder. And I will name this folder demo export and click OK. The software is now exporting the models for both JAWS. We could see it's moving through the models and exporting. If we now look in the folder at the files that were exported, then we could see for each stage, we have an upper and a lower model that was exported. We also have a model at position zero at the start position. And if we scroll down further, we could see the case report that was created, a separate report for each draw that contains an image and relevant IPR information when there is, and movement information as well.